Hello. <laughs> Look at our new gate. And here's Jules holding the candle, the peace candle. We have started on this full moon. We've started our new now. Woo! Because how beautiful is this? White on white. And Jules, bless you, Jules. Thank you so much. Jules has been with us from the very beginning. She did the first left lot of gates and we have um, really progressed. This is our third incarnation of gates now and it just is our new beginning, our new opening. Jules has just also completed the Aldi uh, wall. So if you want to go and see some really good graph down, graffiti go down there. Paul is very busy with my mum. So we are doing the music ourselves again today. So let's take you to the altar, to the altar space. And when you come to the Daisy Center, you can just stand in front of the gates and be that angel. How cool is that? <laughs> so let's go through. We haven't done this in a while. As we take you through the Daisy Center doorway through to the Lion's Gateway, the beautiful lions. We showed you this yesterday with the passion fruit and the wisteria as we go into the garden. How beautiful is that? Really, really lovely. And yes, I've painted the table white as well, just to make it really clear that this is a new start, a new beginning as we take you through into the house. So as we're flowing now, calling in the angels, the angels of awakening. There's one of the angels I made in 1990 when I first realized what was going on. As we're going in through now to the hallway, the pictures of the angels from my first book. How wonderful is that? The angel of unconditional love and the angel of grace as we go into the angel sanctuary. Another sign from the wonderful jewels as we move now into the space of the sanctuary. And as we move into this space, we are now at the altar where we've been for so many weeks. Absolutely beautiful. Um, Jules, you can put it down um, on one of the altars over there. Oh, that's lovely. Or make a wish, blow it out and make a wish. There we are. So, oh, it's all white. <laughs> Everything is white. It's all white now. And that's what um, we're saying. We've also got a little gold one of these as well because the all white allows the energy to flow in the golden light from the center of your golden flame, in the center of your heart. So are you enjoying this new now? It's a full moon in Pisces, this is the time to set your intentions. It's really the time now to step into your, your new path, your new way. And it is uh, going to um, really be your sovereignty, what you in your heart knows is true. We've got the angels. Can you see the new altar? How beautiful is that? We have the angels and the, and the marble angel and Kuan Yin really bringing this light and love now into the angel sanctuary. So it's all about you being in the pearl of your heart. So we are calling in the angels to bring in this light, to bring in this love bringing in and just receiving this light, this love. Because as you breathe in, you're receiving. And as you breathe out, you're giving. And as you give, so you receive. And it's this flow of energy. This is the flow. This is what has stopped. We've stopped. We've been stopped. Our flow has been disrupted. We have been disrupted. Everything that we've been told has got a little twist to it. There's a little disruption. I was watching a video of years and years, a TV program two years ago, when we were given uh, an insight as to what could be um, on the agenda. And it is all about 
your choices, the choices that you make, not not just sitting back and, and, and letting it be someone else's choice. Be the pilot of your own destiny. Don't be the passenger of others. So we're welcoming Jules in today, who is going to sit in the room, socially distanced, of course. <laughs> and she is bringing in this beautiful energy, as we all are, from the great central sun, bringing and calling and connecting with this starlight, with this cosmic energy from the galactic ley lines, as this energy flows now. It flows through from the galactic ley lines, through the synchronic lines, through the micro lines, through the ley lines, through your divine lines and your vital web. This is how the sunlight gets through to the center of your heart. This is how the sunlight is absorbed through your, through your skin, through all of your organs are just receiving this light, this love. Without the light, we would not survive. Without the sun, there would be no fertility. Without the sun, there would be no germination. Without the sun, there would be no uh, nature. So we revere the sun. We love the sun. We connect to the sun. We appreciate and respect the sun as we bring this sunlight, this light of the great central sun through to the center of your hearts. And this practice, this practice of opening your heart, this practice of being within the pearl of your heart is a beautiful, beautiful energetic. And as as the energy of you being in the in the pearl of your heart is really about you being uh, absolutely true to yourself because as you are true to yourself the energy of everything else just goes into the the uh, the state and space of being so when we are calm when we are relaxed this full moon energy did you see it it's like this crystal this amazing calcite crystal last night i went out and paul went oh it's a full moon it was yes it's the harvest moon it's the moon of the harvest the harvest light that really really shows uh, us what is going on in the world so this beautiful beautiful full moon energy let's utilize let's really be in flow with this energy of the of the moon and with this energy just just taking us like a wave like a flow the energy is really really going to bring you into a, a, a different place okay don't hang on to the sides of this river of light don't try and and swim upstream just let go let god let the energy just flow through you you are safe in this you are secure and so with this light now just radiating through your body breathing in the light from the top of your head to the tip of your toes and as this column of light this big pillar of love as it flows through your being I'm looking for my selenite, but I can't find it. So not to worry. We've got the pearl of the heart, this beautiful pearlescent white light right here. Step into the center of the center of your heart, stepping into this space and place of love. Because when you are in your heart, when you are connected with your heart, when you are fully aware of the beauty of your heart, your beauty, everything else just falls into place it's grandma week this week so let's celebrate all the grandmas all the wisdom all the energy that is in the grandma's vocabulary in in her library of love and so within this space just breathe breathing in and as the energy flows now through to your organs, through your divine lines, through your vital web. If there's any part of your body that's aching, just breathe in the light to it. Do it right now. I'm going to send the en energy through the divine lines, through your vital web, bringing the, the, this healing energy from the angels of Avalon, the angels of alchemy, 
We are talking about the Angels of Ascension this evening on Bridges of Light, Ponte de Luce on Facebook. The Bridges of Light, it's a hour program all about the Angels of Ascension and how they are really helping you. So let's call them in right now. These Angels of Ascension, they are so beautiful. They are really, really bringing in just changes that are subtle, really subtle little changes that are making all the difference. And it's clearing out the old, clearing out, you know, things that, get, that are broken. Why are you holding on to things that are broken? Why are we hankering over things that don't work? Why are we, we worried about continuing in the same old way? Let's just take a breath. And again. Because when you feel this love, when you feel the breath, when you take just a few minutes every day to be yourself, to put yourself first, to call in the angels, to call in the universal light, to connect with your stones, your crystals, to connect with your creativity, your talent, your gift. When you be in this space of love, being love, be love, be loved, be loved. You're not a human doing, be a human being, especially today. The energies here in Glastonbury are just phenomenal. They're going up and down and up and down. Whoa, 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 it's really flowing. You know, it's like, and the, and the town is so full. It's so full of people. So do come if you'd like to. We really are open now. And as the light flows through your body, this beautiful, beautiful light of the divine, the vortex healing energy that I transmit is radiating through your body, going to those places where the, the aches and the pains or the feeling of, of just not feeling right, Lots of depression happening at this time. Depression and anxiety can be transformed into excitement and new thoughts by recognising that the old depressive thoughts are exactly that. They're not of this moment. You're hankering over something that has gone. So recognising it, loving it, loving the person who is feeling this, and just bringing into your hearts this beautiful, beautiful love, the love of the divine, divine mother love, divine father love, for you, the divine child, and we are all a divine child. We here in Glastonbury, we play a lot more than others. That's why people think we're mad, because we're always playing. We're always doing something that's just a little bit quirky, just a little bit not uh, usual. Because we're individual, we're unique, we recognise and salute that part of ourselves is actually going into big puddles of water and just splashing around. <laughs> and in the autumn, I love kicking up the leaves and I love painting Leave that love. The angels of ascension, they bring through all kinds of, of love. We've got the rose quartz energy beaming to you now with the celestialite. This is an angel, angel uh, crystal that really beams. It matches Jill's dress as well. It's so beautiful. All the turquoises and the light blues just beaming through to you right now. So have an incredible day today. Have a beautiful heartfelt moment with yourself or with those that you love really really expressing your creativity because we here at the daisy center we are ready for this new now we are ready for this new beginning this new reset the realization that it's up to us our choices what we feel in our hearts is the right way to go the right moment the right present 
being. So I'm going to give you a beautiful, big, angelic, etheric hug. This is what's kept us going, these beautiful hugs. And we are here in the heart of Avalon, in the center of Glastonbury, every day, bringing my love to you, bringing energy from my heart to you. And thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube now on my private page, please subscribe, share and like. And if you are on my new public page, yes, we're going global. We're really going to send this out through the Rose Quartz lines, right out through the whole of the world until everybody sees little white flowers and the pearls of their heart. And tonight at seven o'clock on, on Bridges of Light, I will be talking for one whole hour about the Angels of Ascension. So we would be delighted to meet you there. I can't share it on my own page. You have to, to join the Bridges of Light if you want to hear it. I will put it onto YouTube though, unlisted if anybody wants to really see it and you just have to contact me. So, from my heart to yours have a wonderful wonderful day enjoy all the full moon festivities there are so many happening and we'll see you here again tomorrow and thank you to Rebecca she's been playing with the new gimbal today it's our new toy and we've loved it so let's see how it works out please send in your comments let us know what you would like us to talk about and we will do so and don't forget the motiva motivational message as well. It's a wonderful one today. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.